This intro contains major spoilers. You've been warned. How to Deal with Mental Issues 101 should be the title for this movie. But no, they decide to put Jason in the mix and have Tommy Jarvis, the survivor of the last movie, as is to be a mental patient. Golden! It's golden, alright. About as golden as Tommy making a twist in the ending, but we all know that's not gonna happen, right? Right? Fuck you, Tommy Jarvis! Holy shit! <laughs> Friday the 13th, Part 5, A New Beginning, which I do like this cover more than this cover, if anyone's interested in knowing which cover I like better, it's this cover, no doubt. Friday the 13th, Part 5, A New Beginning, is a sequel to Friday the 13th, The Final Chapter. Wait, what? Oh yeah, because if we've learned anything about movie company statistics, it is that there always needs to be more if the preceding flick did good at the box office records. Or fans just wanted more, but I think it's more about the box office records. Take statistics. There are more accidents, more homicides when there's a full moon. It upsets people. It makes them nuts. And it makes fans crave more Friday the 13th films. Notice how I just quoted the cop from the original Friday the 13th film. Sort of. Who did that? It wasn't me. It was him. Oops. It's okay, the one with the shittier cover survived. For now. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to the review, shall we? I'm a terrible British impersonator. So... Oh yeah, we were talking about statistics, which is usually bullshit when it comes to fans. Now before I dive into Friday the 13th, the final chapter, I want to state something. Spoilers. There is no Jason in this movie, it's a guy impersonating him. That's mostly why fans dislike this installment um, very much. But let's look at it from some solid Halloween fans. Halloween 3 Season of the Witch had absolutely nothing to do with Michael Myers, and it's still a pretty decent movie. But then they try with Friday the 13th Part 5 to trick you and have a twist, and pe people hate it. They all, a lot of people hate Halloween 3 too, so it's kind of a mixed bag for those two films. But it's the only film I can really can compare with the iconic slasher genres. Halloween and Friday the 13th. Now, in my opinion, I will explain why Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning, is actually a decent film in its own right. First off, it's titled A New Beginning. Don't you think that requires a new start, kind of like Halloween? But then fans hated Halloween 3, so why would they go without Friday the 13th Part 5? I don't know. But in any case, I think they played it up well. This film has pretty gory and inventive kills, the highest body count in the Friday the 13th film series of the 80s, unless you count the unaccounted for the drowned passengers in Friday the 13th Party of Jason Takes Manhattan. Anyways, this is a perfectly decent Friday the 13th film, in my honest opinion. Overall, I give Friday the 13th Part 5 a new beginning. A two. Out of five. It was nearly a 2.5 out of five. But. Fuck you, Tommy Jarvis! Also, make sure to give Jacob Raymond Palacio's channel a watch because he's reviewing all the Friday the 13th films on Friday the 13th as well as me. And he's giving me a shout out, so I'm gonna give him a shout out. Fair enough. I am Brian Gatto, host of our show Movie Reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page 
in the description below, and to leave comments and subscribe.